Kevin from Landjet, and I'm going to show you on how to operate a clutch and clutch brake on a manual transmission in our fleet. So this is some diagrams we've uh, illustrated here to show you how it's meant to function and the features of a heavy duty transmission, which is uh, different from a regular automobile with a synchronized transmission and that does not have a clutch brake uh, designed in it. So here is a diagram of the assembly itself. You have the clutch, throughout bearing, the clutch brake, and the transmission. And this is kind of an example of where it's at in the vehicle. You have your engine, the transmission, and your drive line and axle here, kind of just simplified. Here's a side image of kind of how the gears look in the truck. Here you have uh, one gear kind of alignment, and I'll explain that in the gear of a different alignment. The same thing here is another kind of a different angle from it. You can see the gears here, the gears are pointing together, and here you can see that they're, they're spaced appropriately. So in the clutch, uh, from the beginning to the end, you know, I kind of did a pie chart here of when you first start applying the clutch to all the way to the floorboard. The first two thirds of your clutch is your clutch itself. So that'll actually depress the clutch and, um, and just uh, decouples the engine from the transmission. So, but then the last little bit of third, the very last couple inches of your, of your clutch throw all the way to the bottom applies the clutch brake. And so here is an actual clutch brake right here. Uh, this is a two piece one, but uh, it has a fiber material on both sides and it sits right here in the transmission. And, and basically as this gets, as the clutch gets released, it applies pressure and puts it and stops the transmission from rotating. And so this is like a brake. So if you're driving, you should only ever push the clutch down if you're rolling uh, two thirds to half. If you're at a complete stop, you can utilize the clutch brake because if you don't, you can burn this up pretty easily and then uh, you lose this feature in the truck and ultimately you have to pull down the, you, well the right way is to pull down the transmission and basically replace this, but you usually end up having to do a clutch job prematurely because if you're going to go through the effort of replacing this, you might as well replace the clutch. And so in utilizing the clutch brake, uh, you know, the, basically the, the principle the way it works is, you know, you're trying to gear match. Uh, this is a non-synchronized transmission so you're wanting to stop the transmission from spinning at a stop because you're matching the your wheel speed to the transmission speed and, the, and then ultimately with the clutch depressed you're disconnecting the engine speed from it so you're usually matching these two together well if you're driving uh, and you use the brake what you're going to do is you're going to stop the transmission but this is spinning and this is spinning so nothing's going to match up and line up so that's kind of why they say float the gear, double clutch, or float the clutch. And a lot of times, you know, you don't use the clutch once you learn because you're always matching the gear alignment. So uh, when you utilize the clutch brake properly, you want to come to a stop and then basically depress the clutch all the way fully when you're about basically almost at a stop. And you'll feel the clutch in the gears as you're trying to get in and stop, like da -da 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 -da, and it slows down and then boop, you can pop it right into gear. But if you happen to stop it and you weren't ready to put it in the gear, uh, sometimes it goes right in gear, but sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, what it means is the teeth itself are pointing at each other. And because it's non-synchronized, it, you have to have it match up or else it won't slip into gear easily. So here, down here, you can see the teeth are off alignment. This gear is going to slide in versus this gear is, is touching each other with these teeth. And here's another example of it down here of a different angle. The teeth are pointing at each other. It's not going to go in versus if the gears are spaced appropriately, they're gonna slide right in like butter. So what you do in that circumstance, if you feel it fighting, you just lift off of the brake an inch or two of the clutch pedal, and then that allows the transmission to kind of float again, and you can feel the gear slowly spinning, and then you can slip it right into gear. Uh, and it, you know, once you kind of learn to use it, it's very easy to get in and out of gear at stop. And then while you're driving, you just make sure you want to not not press the clutch all the way down and engage the clutch brake because uh, you'll basically uh, uh, not match the rotational speed of your vehicle road speed and the engine speed uh, because the brake is going to stop it uh, too far out uh, of matching a road speed. But then if you happen to do it accidentally, just lat out the clutch first. It'll match the transmission back to the engine speed and then you can push the clutch in halfway and then float the gear uh, or release the gear and basically find the next gear. Uh, and that's basically how a clutch brake works. Thank you.